the time came for Elizabeth to be delivered, and she gave birth to a son. And her neighbors and kinsfolk heard that the Lord had shown her great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. And on the eighth day they came to circumcise a child, and they would have named him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, Not so. He shall be called John. And they said to her, None of you nor your kindred is called by this name. And they made signs to his father, inquiring what he would have him called. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And they all marveled. And immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed, and he spoke, Blessing God. And fear came on all their neighbors, and all these things were talked about through all the hill country of Judea. And all who heard them laid, all who heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What then will this child be? For the hand of the Lord was with him. Okay, good morning everybody. Happy Christmas Eve Eve. It's the last full day of Advent and with that the uh, last video for the, the Advent daily reflection. So, so we've come to the end and uh, hopefully, hopefully you've grown in faith a bit. Hopefully you've been able to open your heart and your home uh, to make way for our Lord or at least engage faith a little bit more deeply. Um, before I go any farther, I want to thank the vestry and the in the faithful, the parish family of St. John's Episcopal Church for allowing me the resources and and time needed to do this with you all. So so thanks guys and and God bless you. Today, uh, as I said earlier in the week, uh, we flip flop between the visitation uh, to Elizabeth and then also the Annunciation. So Angel Gabriel coming to Mary and Mary going to Elizabeth. Uh, and so we end with Mary and Elizabeth. And I think it's a good time, uh, is one last final act of Advent to contemplate relationships. Uh, just as uh, Mary is scared and doesn't know what to do and she goes to her cousin, goes to family, uh, to a friend, to seek uh, comfort and solace and understanding from all of that. Uh, maybe that should prompt us to think about our own relationships. Um, so if you are blessed and fortunate enough uh, to have family and, and friends and uh, aren't alone, take time to give thanks for that. Uh, take the time in the next couple days to reach out and to thank them for being a part of your life and uh, for their love and all that they give to you and do for you and all the help they provide. Don't take that for granted uh, because it is uh, more uh, rare than you might think. Um, then also, uh, remember those who don't have friends or family or who are alone or feel isolated. Uh, please be sure to is an act of, of charity and an act of uh, your love for our Lord, reach out to, to, to people. Uh, reach out to those whose family have died or passed away or those who are alone or those who uh, you know are struggling. Let them know they're not alone. Uh, take a moment and extend love and hospitality to them. I think you'll be better if you do. I know you will. Uh, it's always, it's something I'm about, uh, try to be about most every day, and it's, uh, it means more to other people than you could ever possibly imagine. So to those who have relationships, give thanks for them and don't take them for granted and take the time to, to reach out and thank the people. To those uh, who don't and those who are broken, <laughs> You're not alone, and I, I hope people uh, will reach out to you and, and let you know how much they love and care about you. Uh, so be about that as well. And then finally, uh, broken relationships. This is a great time. Uh, if you've watched old Christmas movies and things like that, it's a great time to reconcile, to, uh, to reach out uh, to, to people uh, with whom you are in a strained state, people uh, who you need to forgive or, or people who have forgiven you and you need to accept and acknowledge that forgiveness. Uh, so take a couple moments and try to do a thing or two to, to repair 
uh, relationships because uh, we see the mother of our Lord immediately go to the hill country of Judah and seek solace and comfort and uh, we are not made to be alone. Uh, we're made to live in community and that looks a lot different. Uh, some, some families, some friends, some uh, different groups, but we are not meant to be alone. So give thanks for the relationships you have. Uh, reach out to those who might not have them right now and do what you can to uh, repair relationships that have either fallen uh, fallow or dead or, 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 or that are strained. Uh, I promise you that will make Christmas Day that much more special. So uh, thank you all again for journeying with me through Advent. Uh, it's, it's been a privilege to be able to do this and to have the opportunity to do this. Uh, no, I'm praying for everybody, uh, and I hope everyone has a, a very happy and merry Christmas. God bless you all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.